Hi, my name is Drew. I am principal designer at Drew McGookin Interiors and welcome to my home in the heart of Chelsea's famous flower district. My home stretches across 2,000 square feet in a full floor live work loft space. And the overarching design ideals here, I basically took 10 years of my life, edited it down, layered it all together, and now I call it home. And I can't wait to show you around. The first space you walk into is my DMC Design Atelier. This space actually used to be the home of my company until we moved across the street. The office is located nearest to the windows because the bright light and the beautiful cityscape bring such an exciting, inspiring element to our work. Speaking of exciting, uh, did you notice the taxi cab yellow? I really wanted a pop. I wanted something that felt saturated, happy, fun, but also mellowed out as a neutral. So I went for mellow yellow. Since we often host client presentations in this space, we installed a cork wall. And when we're presenting, we remove the artwork, remove the accessories, and that's where we actually pin up client fabrics to present to them for their homes. Since the biggest, boldest main windows of space are at the front, we decided to use open bookcases as a divider between the living space and the workspace. The idea is carve out space, but don't lose the light. So this is the living room, and this space is a real mashup. So one of the design intentions really that I wrapped around this space was thinking about the lens of work that I'd done for clients and picked favorite moments and created myself a piece. The art in this space really centers around Aboriginal and photography. I've been collecting Aboriginal art for a number of years and have some really classic, beautiful photographs as well. And then I just layer in stuff I love. This space is not only about custom pieces that I designed, but I also layered in vintage pieces, classic Mies van der Rohe David by Knoll, ceramic lamps by Martz. I really wanted to add that element of timelessness to the space. A kitchen and a dining room are a natural duo, but what's great in this space is I actually used the dining room as a transition from a more formal living space into the kitchen space. And I anchored it by recessing this bar cabinet into the wall with a mirrored back to reflect light from the front. The big design moment here is bringing the copper wall down onto the island. Ultimately, the goal is to create a warm, creative space to enjoy entertaining friends and family and for me to enjoy spending time here. Welcome to my master bedroom. No one can believe I actually sleep in this bedroom under this skylight, but in fact, I do, and I do it beautifully. And no one can believe that I actually have two life-size portraits of myself, but I do. Can we talk about this wallpaper? The genius behind this wallpaper is all of these patterns start from an actual painting, and this is one that I fell in love with minute one. The bed is actually a piece that I designed for a client on the Upper East Side, and I liked it so much in their space, I made one for myself. In the famous words of Ariana Grande, I'm a, I'm a need space. Behind this door, my walk-in wardrobe. Thank you for joining me today. I'm hoping you'll take away a few tips on how years of collecting can layer together in a beautiful way to create a wonderful home space. Thanks for watching. Like what you see on the show? Well, be sure to subscribe to our channel. We have so many more beautiful homes to share. It's all about love. Share these homes, you know?